My father rarely spoke about the past. With one exception. While on his usual route from the city to the country, he decided to stop for a hitchhiker. Hello? That's my dad. Always picking up strangers. But this man was different. He asked to be dropped off at exit 77. A road that led to nowhere. Before leaving, the man passed along a warning. Beware of the black flags, do you hear? The only loyalty that the black flags have ever had is to themselves. He advised my father to gather up his supplies and flee. Find somewhere safe and secluded. Hide out there. And above all, stay guarded. So that's exactly what we did. The seer. That's what my father called the man. Because he foresaw the end. and other paramilitary groups began battling one another for supremacy. Everything in sight was gutted and burned and then left to rot. Those who avoided getting murdered in the streets frequently wound up either starving or freezing to death inside their homes. One thing all of these people had in common they died afraid, cold, hungry, and afraid. Then things got even worse. One of the remaining paramilitary groups succeeded in contaminating the water supply. A single drop had the capacity to destroy your entire immune system. That's when all hell broke loose. Entire cities were erased from existence. The land that gave birth to heaven's religions was utterly laid into waste. Those of us who managed to survive had nothing left to hold on to. Nothing except our faith in humanity. And in each other. Forget it. But do you know what I mean? I do. That's why I'm telling you to forget it. My father will never let you near her. I can't accept that. I'm going to have to talk to him. Have a man-to-man -man with him. <laughs> but you don't believe I'll do it, man? Checkmate. I wasn't paying attention. New game. <laughs> Here. We've got visitors, Father. How many? I only saw one, I think. Get back out there. And be ready to give me cover at any moment. Shaib? Now's not the time, Jamal. I have a situation. Wait up. You better believe I'm coming with you. No, you're not. Father. Miriam. Stop treating me like a child, please. I can help out there. You know I can. 
I know you can, sweetheart. No one here is more capable than you. That's why I need you to stay inside and look after the others. Two knocks means we're clear. Three, there's a problem. She's very sick. From the water. <laughs> Please help me, I beg you. I don't like this one bit. It might be a trap. Damn it. She's my daughter's age. Shaib, don't unlock the gate. I beg you to help me. Or just kill me. I, I have to try. Hold this. What are you doing, Dad? Don't worry. He can handle himself. Just cover him. Cover him. Shaib! Shut the gate the second I'm back in, okay? Shy, but wait! spring <laughs> only ones the love for me five girls near the water spring three are gone and two remain <laughs> if I were you right now I'd stay put where you are lower your gun give me the girl just lower your gun, buddy. Give me the girl. I won't ask you again. <laughs> now drop the gun. The gun stays. What name do you use? None of your business. Hmm. Who are you with? <sighs> None of your business. <laughs> they call me Abu Aisa. And I'm a... I'm just a drifter. Affiliated with nobody. So what brings you here? Uh, I need water. I need some water. I'll give you a gallon. But you give me the girl. <laughs> you know, I must say, that's very generous of you. All that beautiful water you've got up there, and all you can spare is that? Sorry, that just won't do. That water's not only for me. What if I throw in a little gift besides her? Would that change things? What gift is that? I've got bullets. As many as you want. Nine millimeter? Now, I've got 22s. How about 762s? Uh, no, afraid not, but I have... Uh... Hey! 
Abu Aisa, chill out, relax a little. I told you it's a gift. That's all it is. Wait a sec. I've got these here. Very useful. Don't need a weapon to trigger them. Any sort of pin or nail will do with these. They create catastrophes. I have no need for them. Hmm. Listen to me. I'll give you three gallons of water. You give me the girl, and you and your friends have to promise never to come back here. You don't hold need on, their hold permission. On, hold on, hold on. This is just between us, nobody else. Well, you're right. It's just between us and nobody else. Shai! Back here! Throw down their weapons or I'll blow it! You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Don't shoot! I was just passing through here, and I heard you fighting just now. So I chose to take your side. And what brought you here? I was looking for shelter. There are bandits in every direction you look. I was just hoping to find some good people. Are you alone? Gulbeen! Anyone else? It's, it's just the two of us. To was she? I've been Bajuka. Hey, Master, no, didn't he? Would you mind if I get my knife, brother? You said hello to the guys that shot me? Gulbeen doesn't speak any Arabic. She's Kurdish, and my Kurdish isn't really any good. However, somehow we still manage to communicate. Hey, Dad! It's all right, son. You're not hurt, are you? If you had more accuracy, you might have killed my benefactor here. Oh, but Dad, I, I thought he was with those people. I, I know what you thought. It's okay. My name is Shaib, and that's Kais. My name is Musa. You're the one who saved my father? Thank you. Please come in. 
We can at least clean up your wound. My son here was captain of his football team. Oh, yeah? Top scorer two years running. May God continue to bless him. I'm sorry for your losses. We're all on this same path. not mine, don't worry. Musa, this is my daughter, Mariam. Hello there. Daoud? Yes. He draws. Graphic design and animation, actually. Did some work for TV as well. He draws well. Zainab, Bilal, we have guests. Hi, I'm Musa. This is Gulbin. Hello. Welcome. The palace is vast. Make yourselves comfortable. What is this place? It used to be an airplane wings factory. How long have you been here? 318 days. We can't trust them. How do we know we can trust them? Come on! You just have to watch out for them. Shai, you're endangering everyone in here. Listen, if it happens, it does. If not, we'll be fine. You know how this works. We'll be fine. Just calm down. Is everything all right? You okay? You've got something to say? Musa. He should stay with us. Just Musa. Aisa. You need to realize we barely even know these people. We don't know this man or his vices, my son. He saved your life, though, Dad. What more do you need to know about him? Still, we have to be very careful. The world isn't the same. Being careful didn't stop Mom from getting sick from the water, did it? Son, you know I did all I could to try to save her. We need a better plan than just being careful, Dad. That's what the seer told us to do, and I have faith in God. You rely on God so much, yet you won't plan for the future. We need to take control of our destiny, not throw ourselves in the quagmire and accept it as our fate. That's enough. You have to understand that some I people... I said enough! Do you speak English? Only Kurdish, I'm afraid. You've done me a favor, and I appreciate it very much, Musa. You're welcome to stay for a couple of nights if you'd like. But that's all, unless you have nowhere else to go, of course. But there are conditions. 
If you stay, you carry out duties around here just like I ask. Isn't it customary, though, to allow guests to eat and get some rest before asking them to make such decisions? Please, sir. Tell me, how did you two meet? I found her in a deserted neighborhood. She'd been hiding out there for several months since her husband died. As a matter of fact, it was murdered. We've stayed together ever since. So fate probably brought us together. Don't you think? How was he murdered? Torn apart. Each limb one by one. They were pulled right off of his body. He was murdered by some self-proclaimed soldiers who decided that he simply wasn't worthy of living. Gulbeen managed to escape by some miracle. Fortunately, I was the one who eventually found her. I consider my scars to be a sign of beauty. Could you translate for her? I was a teacher. That's when everything started. We were all taken hostage at our school. A rebel commander started groping one of the teachers. So I attacked him to defend her. Then three other rebels came in. And they raped me. Then they poured acid on my face. But I survived. If I had known this was the price I'd pay to stay alive, I'd do the same thing again. I'm a director in the theater, or rather, I was one in the old world. I used to teach my students to empower themselves with love in order to help them gain confidence when they got on stage. Sometimes I think if only just one of my students were still with us, so that they could see Raya. Because Raya is a shining example of a person armed with nothing but love, who somehow channeled it all to fight against the hatred out there. I fell in love. And she kindly loved me back. And after a great deal of pleading and all sorts of diplomatic efforts, finally our dear friend Scheib finally agreed to marry us off in front of God and his witnesses.
There's something very strange going on here. What? Gulbin is deathly afraid of Musa. How do you know that? Just watch her. She's always frightened and nervous whenever he's around her. There's something off about Musa. I don't like him or the way he stares Mariam, at everyone. Miriam, don't forget that he saved Dad's life. I know that, but we still have to be careful. We owe him an invitation to stay here. What does that matter? Do you even know the man? Either way, it's the right thing to do. We've done more than enough for them already. Miriam. Musa has until tomorrow to decide whether or not he wants to stay. Well, what if Gulbin wants to stay but is too scared? You two get rest. We'll have our answers by tomorrow morning. Good night, you two. Good night to you, too. Good night, Father. The knife. Can you explain to me why you trust this guy so much? Can you explain to me why you're always such a know-it-all? As if you ever know anything, idiot. Call me an idiot again, and I'll tell Dad about you and Daoud. Seriously? What are we, children? Seriously? Well, you started it first, Miriam. And besides, you know that I would never tell Dad about that. you like the food. The best I've had in a while. Brought me back to the good old days. <laughs> Are you more comfortable keeping this knife on you at all times? Why, does it make you uncomfortable? Not really, but as you can see, we all keep our weapons inside the cabinet, which always stays locked, unless there's a problem. I'm the only one with the key, which is always on me. I don't carry a gun, I'm sure you've noticed. What goes for everyone else here will go for me as well, then.
Yes, you are testing me. Because you don't know me. You see, this knife and I go way back. We're good friends. For life, as a matter of fact. So what's it gonna be, fearless leader? Tell me. Do you trust me to keep this knife under my pillow? Or am I the one who has to trust you? And next thing I know, you'll be killing me and Ghoulbeen in our sleep. <laughs> if I had the intention of killing you and Ghoulbeen, I wouldn't have given you dinner. <laughs> Unless you wanted to fatten us up like goats before the slaughter. Ain't that right, fearless leader? That's the farthest thing from the truth, and I don't mean to make a test out of this at all. Whatever it was, it's already done with. Listen up, Musa. Unless you've already made up your mind to settle down here, you're still just a guest. And as far as I know, guests are expected to abide by the rules. Your knife goes in the cabinet, with everybody else's weapons, and that's final. You understand? No special treatment. I'm just fucking with you, man. What's the matter? Can't you take a joke? <sighs> this knife right here... ...is my dearest belonging. when you let strangers in? This is all your fault. Dowd! What's happening? I just sit here. Dowd, stop! Dowd! I said... Where are you? Come out, you bastard! I said... Come out! I'm gonna kill him! Not tonight, you're not! 
We need to see to Dad tonight. Don't worry. Musa must be gone by now. You should really get some sleep. I'm okay, thanks. Stay with me. What are we going to do now? I don't know. What were we doing before? My father found a way to keep us safe. But he didn't plan for the future. Do you really think he ran away? Musa? Mm-hmm. I don't know. I didn't mean what I said yesterday. It's not your fault. You're a good man, Aisa. Father would have laughed hearing you say that. The world was ending, but your dad still made sure everyone knew you were captain. No, I actually meant the man part. He never treated me like one. Well, it's men's work you're doing now. 
The people inside here are relying on you. And your sister. And so am I. I'm alive today thanks to your father. Consider me your right hand from now on. May he rest. May he rest in peace. What? Of. I'll watch them later. to the water. What do you mean? We're totally fucked. The water's been cut. I've got to go out to the tower. All right, I'll go with you then. No. I won't let you go out there alone. Are you crazy? Daoud, Kais, let's go. What's wrong? We're going to the water tower. Come on. Stay here, Kais. Stay here. I'll go with you. Fine. Aisa. It's not gonna happen. One of us has to stay here. All right. Are you still upset with me? No. Don't forget to lock up behind us, okay? Two knocks means we're clear. Three, Three means there's trouble. Don't worry. So wait up. Let me. I'll climb. You don't have to do it. Yes, I do. Carry your weight, as your father always said. This one is mine, okay? I just need a little hand here, boys. Help me up. Idris, be careful.
Idris! Hurry, run! Calm down, Daoud. We have to stop the bleeding. Yeah. Is this what Musa was saying? Separating the weak from the strong? What kind of test is this? What is he going to do to us? This is not a fucking test. It's a massacre. This isn't working. Hand me your belt. Come on. Water. There's no... And what if he comes back here? Where do you think you're going? What are you hiding from us? Answer me! What are you hiding from us? Shut up! Everybody shut up! If anyone here does so much as raise a hand to anyone else, they're gone. Why the hell are you so eager to let her stay? She hasn't given us a reason not to. Aisa! Now is not the time! This is such a joke. Listen. The bleeding won't stop. Get a fire going, come on. Hold them down. Just stay calm, stay calm. Hey, I'm right here. Below, give us a hand here. Oh, relax, we're right here, man. Hold them still. Aisha! Aisha! They shot at me! Dawood! I beg you, please! Dawood, I'm right I'm here. I'm begging you! Cover hey, his Dawood. eyes. Don't do it! Keep looking at me. Cut above the knee. Hey. Trust me.
Jamal! You're pathetic. Save some for Daoud. I know you don't want to hear this, Miriam, but... There's no way we can stay here any longer. And look at Daoud. He's in no condition to be moved. He's lost a significant amount of blood. Priority should go to those of us who are going to live. What makes you so sure you're going to live? Are you threatening me? Aren't we all going to die? I'm just saying you're selfish, Jamal. Exactly. Selfishness. That's what it's going to take from now on. These petty and childish emotions of yours won't get us through a single week without water. <laughs> I say, Jamal. She attacked me first. But you didn't see that, did you? Yeah, I heard the whole thing. So what if you did? Who put you in charge? Get out of here. So you're uh, giving out orders now, too, you little shit. You're not welcome here anymore. In here, we protect each other. We defend each other. If you want to fight for yourself, do it out there. Are you telling me that you really think you'll last a day here without me? Huh? Get out of here. What if I don't want to? What are you going to do about it? Leave now, I said! <laughs> Here's the deal. We're no longer under your command, Captain. I think we can all agree that it makes more sense for me to be in charge. Not a little kid just hatched from his egg. And the first thing I'm doing here is throwing this bitch out of here. Get out! Don't Come you on! Don't dare touch her! Stay back! Stay the hell back, Aisa! I'm doing this for the good of everyone here. You're not a leader. And you'll never be a leader. You know you'll never be one. What the hell do you know? Do you even know that your father took my advice on everything? Do any of you know that I was the real decision maker here? A true leader has to protect his charges. Do you think you do that? Is that so? Who have you been able to protect? Certainly not your own father, or am I wrong? Where were you when he got slaughtered right in front of everyone? Huh? Who welcomed the enemy in with open arms? You insisted on letting them stay here! And you? Have you forgotten how you got here? Huh? The man who left his family behind to burn? Yet Shut somehow up, managed to save his books? Wasn't that you? Huh? If you take one more step, I'll blow your brains out! You're not a leader. You never were a leader. And my father knew it. at me like that are you gonna let this boy call the shots why are you letting him decide it all because he's Shaib's son I, I, I knew he had no bullets all along okay I just wanted to scare him Aisha know that we're staying with you don't you worry about us Jamal just look after yourself.
And then there were seven. What's that supposed to mean? You took the bait. Musa's gonna come for you very soon. One by one. He'll trap you like mice. Just wait. You'll be crawling out of this hole looking for water at any moment now. I'll be seeing you again soon. Very soon. You think we did the right thing? I think Musa's plan is working. Come on. Miriam. Jamal's right. We can't survive here without any more water. And Daoud? It's gonna be hard to take him with us. So what do we do now? We need a plan. We have no choice but to go look for water. But I bet that's exactly what Musa wants us to do. We're doing the right thing, Aisa. We have no other choice. You ready? Ready. Aisa. I'm coming with you guys. What? You don't have to. Yeah, actually, I do. exhausted. Somebody mind taking over the watch for a little while? I would, but I can't leave Daoud. Me? But can we trust her? Haven't we been doing that already? Me. Uh, okay. Let's go.
Look there. The gate's open. Look. Are you hurt? Jamal is here. Can you see a way out at all?
We can't leave him here. Why didn't Musa just kill him? He wants to use him for something. Use him for what? Bait? Bait to get us in here? There's only one way to find out. What is it? Can I have?
have some water. We don't have any. Save her. What the hell do you want from me? I want you to forget about the old world. Abandon all the rules that only existed to force billions of people to live in mediocrity. No right to speak for humanity. <laughs> Don't you get it now? The Earth itself was choking to death on nothing but useless people. Worthless people. Those without purpose. And my mission... And so the choice is yours. Which one of you gets to live? You decide.
Looks like she decided for you, Aisa. This is an end. You're free to go. <laughs> right before I cut out Jamal's tongue, he told me that your gun there has no bullets. How do you know he wasn't lying to you? Where's Kais? He was a good soldier, but his mission is over. A smart man, but not a leader. And we don't need more followers. Why? You deserve to live more than any other. Musa was supposed to light the fire. While I stayed back and watched, who would take the lead? And who would fall in line behind them? Those who controlled the situation got to join us. And the truth is, very few succeed. But I had faith in you, and you didn't disappoint me. You pass with flying cars. You let him murder my family! <laughs> because they were all weak. Now the choice is yours, as it was before. When I let you go, you can try to kill me. Or come with me. We'll be gathering soon in the Medina. Join us. Come meet the others. Let's fix this broken world together. <laughs> You'll be safe from here on out. My mission isn't over, but I do have to go. We'll be waiting for you. Find us where it all begins again.
It was them, wasn't it, my dear boy? Who are they? The Ah Aleph. I don't know what that means. The Aleph and the Ya. Known as the first and the last. The beginning and the end. Ya. Aleph. The end. And then the beginning. That was our name. And that was our symbol. You're one of them. I once believed, as they still do. And what is it they believe? What are they after? They took it for granted that... the end of life, as we once knew it, would come soon enough. Mankind would tear itself to pieces. And that the world itself would cease to exist. That was their goal. Our goal was to live through it. Was to sift through the remains. The ashes. Collect the survivors. Survivors who could help rebuild society. But you decided to leave them? At first, I was convinced that what we were doing was very noble. We searched for people of conviction in their faith and beliefs who empathized with those around them. Those who would, who would not lose their humanity once the government fell. But the more, the more the chaos swelled up around us and became our new world, the more people's values began to change as did the qualities we looked for and tested. We had lowered ourselves to the level of those we fought against. I knew I had to leave then. And it was at that moment I first heard them use the phrase, the worthy, the worthy. Your father, was a very kind man. And I warned him many times. But he insisted on going back the way he came in order to save you and your sister.
My father believed the seer had all the answers to life's questions. But he was mistaken. Aleph Yah. This is your story. I will meet you in the Medina. The end of the world might have been yours, but the beginning of it... We'll see who that belongs to.